Okay, in this part of the tutorial we're going to add some more features to our platform game. Now one of the issues that sometimes we can have with 3D games is depth perception. It's sometimes very difficult to know if one object is in front of another or not. Um, and one way around that is to use lighting and shadows which um, gives the player um, a better understanding of where objects are positioned in 3D space. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some lighting into this scene. Now there's already a lamp here, but um, in the Blender game engine the only type of light that can cast shadows um, is a spotlight. So we're going to add a spotlight into the scene. Now all we do to do that is just add an object, pressing Shift and A on the keyboard, and then from the list we're going to choose Lamp and then Spot. Okay, and you'll see that we get a, like a 3D representation of a spotlight here on the screen. Okay, so we might need to make some changes to this. Position it, for example, in 3D space. And across in the properties panel, if we choose the little um, lamp icon there, we can change the properties of this object. For example, we can change how far the light travels from it. Like so, we can change its energy, that's how powerful the lighting is, and a whole bunch of other things. One thing that is very important here is um, a setting called the bias, and that determines the position of the shadow that is cast by this lamp. And I'm going to set the bias to a very small number, I'm going to set it to 0 0.1. Okay, so it's important that you do that, you set it, the bias to a small number so that the shadows appear in the correct position. Now, Blender won't automatically show the shadows. We need to go into the settings here. So if we click the render settings, the little camera icon there, and go down and set the shading options to GLSL. Okay, that will allow Blender to use the, the lights in the scene to cast shadows. Now, if I test the game, what we'll see is everything turns white. Okay, there's no shadows or anything in this scene whatsoever. Now, the reason for that is that none of these objects inside our game have any materials attached to them. So what I'm going to have to do is add a material to each of these objects. So I'm going to just do this very quickly. I'll select the player object, um, go across to the properties panel here and select materials. And let's just apply a material here. So we've got one applied here, the default grey material, but let's just change it, change the diffuse colour to something like red. And then I'll select some other object, this ground object here. Again, I'm going to go over to the materials, and there are no materials attached to this object. So I'm going to click the new button. Again, it um, applies a default material, which is grey, so I'll change it to something else. I'll make this one green, and then finally this um, platform here. Let's add a material to that. And again, I'll just make a new one and I'll change the colour to like so. Okay, so each of these objects now has a material attached to it. Um, in the render settings, I set this setting here, the shading, to GLSL. And I'm just going to test my game. Okay, and still no. Um, textures or lighting here and that's because we need to set this viewport shading to texture okay by default you're probably working in solid mode or maybe even wireframe mode but to get the textures and shading to work we need to set it to texture mode here okay and you can probably see a little preview here um, inside the 3d viewport but if i press p to play my game can now see that there are shadows underneath the uh, the objects. Okay, so the character now has a shadow under it, and that helps the uh, player to determine exactly where the object is in 3D space. Now you might find some difficulties with this on some computers if they don't have um, a graphics card which is capable of doing the texture and lighting, then it just won't work. Sometimes it'll come up with an error. Other times it just won't display any kind of shadows whatsoever. Okay, so that's just one thing to look out for. But most computers, most modern day computers, will render the, the shadows correctly. Okay, that is.